English opening, two knights, Fianchetto, ultra symmetrical, reversed but Vinic system, 6.00 d67.d3 and ge78.a3. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White overpowered black in the middle game. In the English opening, white plays c4 to take control of the d5 square without sacrificing a central piece. This is a more patient opening. c5 meets c4 with a symmetrical approach to controlling the center. And c3 controls the d5 and e4 squares and advances the knight. The d4 and e5 squares are under the control of nc6, which advances the knight toward the center. In order to dominate the center from the long diagonal, g3 is getting ready to fianchetto the light squared bishop to g2. The dark squared bishop is getting ready to be fianchetto to g7, where it will sit on the long diagonal. Fianchetto move bg2 places the bishop on the long diagonal. Fianchetto move bg7 places the bishop on the long diagonal. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center, controls the d4 and e5 squares and prepares castling. e5 reinforces the control over d4 and opens the diagonal for the queen to develop at the cost of weakening the d5 square and blocking the bishop. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. Games Master It is the final book action. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This defends the attacked pawn. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Very precise. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. This threatens to add pressure on a pinned knight. It is best. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. This misses a chance to trample a knight. It is incorrect. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This ignores a more effective technique to reclaim a piece. It is incorrect. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. By attacking the enemy knight, this activates a piece while also buying time. It is quite good. This exchange is fair. That's good. Recaptures. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. A chance to advance a passed pawn towards promotion is lost in this. It is incorrect. This moves the queen to safety. It is good. This lets the opponent capture a pawn to win material. It is an inaccuracy. This captures a vulnerable pawn. It is best. This misses a chance to win back a piece. It is incorrect. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. This is an equal trade. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. 
That's good. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good. Backs off. It is ideal. This strikes a rival rook. It is ideal. This ignores a more effective method for getting a rook to safety. It is incorrect. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This immobilizes the opponent's bishop by pinning it to the king. It is good. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. Very precise. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This wins a tempo by threatening a bishop and forcing it to move away. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is best. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. This protects an underdefended bishop that is under attack. It is excellent. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. That's a decent move. That's good. This captures a vulnerable queen. This is the start of the end game and white is winning. It is best. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White overpowered black in the middle game. 